What's up, everybody? There we go. Let's see if we uh, if we stick to it here. I'm just gonna jam for a little bit. It's gonna be pretty fun. Got a couple things uh, I was thinking about. I think it's really gonna help you. I'm clicking around on some stuff. Give me just a sec. Can you guys hear me? It's it's kind of glitching out on my side. Tell me, let me know if you can hear me real quick. If not, I'll hop off and get right back on. Cause I got something pretty cool. What's up? All right. Let me know. Can you guys hear me? Graham, what's up, bro? Okay, good. Let me know if it's glitching out. For some reason, it keeps pausing on my side. All right, so I just wanted to jam for a little bit. This is how I do these. And uh, I got a question for you. When it comes to outsourcing, delegating, freeing up our time, there's something that hit me that I outsourced probably nearly 10 years ago that changed my life more than anything. And I'm not talking about hiring a virtual assistant, somebody doing my email, uh, somebody doing my social media, all that stuff is important. But there was something that I outsourced a long time ago. Can you guys guess what it is? First, I want you to let me know, guess, help me guess, what do you think that it is that I outsourced that changed everything? And in fact, I'm going to tell everybody the blanket statement, I think everybody should outsource this today. Any guesses? Hit me with what you got. Maybe I'll just give you a prize if you get it. So the number one thing that I outsourced was I hired a lawn service. I hired a lawn service when I was like 26, 27. I even had a pretty small yard. I've had a lawn company in the past. I know how to do it. But here's what happened when I outsourced mowing my lawn. I began to think different. I began to think bigger. When we talk about stepping into the role, stepping into the identity of the person you want to become, guess what? Millionaires, they don't mow their own lawns. And these are the types of things I need you to be thinking on. I need you to be stepping into the mindset of the person you want to become. The ultra successful do not mow their own lawns. And I know some of you are saying, oh, but Trav, I enjoy it. It's when I listen to my podcasts. Um, I don't mind doing it. Stop. Just stop. I know what you're thinking. We've all had those thoughts. But though, if you're thinking that, you're missing it. You're missing the point. The point isn't, oh, I don't mind doing it, or I can save the money. The point is how you're thinking and why you're thinking that way. So, for instance, uh, as I continue to coach people, help people, train people, teach people, you'll see that the two most valuable things in most people's lives are going to be time and money. They go hand in hand. They have to do with each other. They work together. Time and money, right? Well, when we say I'm going to mow my own lawn, we are saying we don't value our time over money. Again, I, I can do it. 
I'm capable. I've had a lawn company before, so I'm good at it. But guess what? Mowing the lawn is the worst. I can use that time so much more valuably. I can use that time. I can hang out with my kids. There's been times in the past. There's one time we had a party. I had to mow the lawn at 6 a.m. I'm like out there with a flashlight. It was horrible. There's another time I had to mow the lawn at like 930 at night for something we had the next day. The mental weight that weighs on you when you see that your lawn needs to be mowed and you know you don't have time to do it or you want to go work on your business or you want to hang out with your family. You're exhausted from what you're doing today. In the back of your mind, you know you got to go work on it. Like if you're an entrepreneur at all, go outsource that thing. Outsource it. Like pay somebody, get it done. I was doing it, like I said, when I was like 26, 27 and people were making fun of me. People were calling me lazy, all those things. But guess what? Those people are still broke today. I'm not lazy. I'm extremely smart. They're the ones I think are lazy because they're mowing their own lawns when they should be hanging out with their family, working on their business, working in their calling, doing their gifts, doing what they should be doing. The bottom line is when you outsource your lawn, you start to think like people that are, are higher level. I start to think, okay, the wealthy, the ultra successful, they wouldn't go mow their lawn. They're doing other things, more important things. They value time more than they value money. Right? Graham says, preach. Thanks, buddy. You know I like hearing that. So, I, I mean, we've even like uh, uh, had to put – like bought my wife a desk for her office. I can put together a desk. Uh, I paid an intern from our church to come out and do it. It's a way better use of my time and put, I'd rather put my money to work on things like that, that are just going to annoy me and bug me and cause overwhelm. I take away an hour or two of my life that I can't get back. No, outsource that stuff. What do you guys need to outsource? Don't mow your lawn anymore. Man, do you need to get a, a cleaner or a maid to come in uh, once or twice a month and do a deep clean? Pay for it. It's worth it. Like these are the types of things I got to have you guys thinking this way. Again, if you're thinking, oh, Trav, I'll, I'll save the money. It's not worth it. I can do it myself. My dad said, if you can do it, it's worth doing yourself. Save the money. All those old paradigms, all those old thought patterns and processes, you got to get out. You got to get those things out. You got to be thinking higher than that. You got to be thinking time is the most precious asset that I have. You can always make more money. You can never make more time. You've heard, it, you've heard me say, I'm going to say that a lot. You can't make more time. Go outsource this stuff. Think on a higher level. Man, what else, what else are the successful doing right now or not doing that you should model? How are they handling? Do they have a team and you're trying to do it all yourself to save the money? When in reality, you're sacrificing so much time, you could drop a couple bucks, have it done by a professional and go crush it. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that. Go, I know it's winter when you're watching this right now, go hire a lawn company. Don't hang your own Christmas lights. Definitely don't hang your own Christmas lights. Like I live in a really nice wealthy neighborhood and 90, like 90 percent of the houses have Christmas lights up. It's awesome. And of those 90 percent, I would say all of them except maybe five houses, you could tell a professional did their lights. Of the five houses that didn't have a professional, you can tell. You can tell. Plus, they also wasted an entire Saturday, risked their lives, climbing up these giant two-story roofs. Just hire this stuff out. Be thinking like that. All right. Love you guys. Jonathan Gamble says, non-money-making activities. Make your money work for you and focus on building. Yeah, exactly. And look, if, if, if you don't got anything going on, if you're like, well, I got nothing better to do, then okay, I guess go mow the lawn or something. But you really need to get something better to do. All right. I can, like I said, I can mow my own lawn. It's way better when someone else does it, when a pro does it. All right. Love you guys. I just want to hop in, get you thinking that direction. I got more coming at you here shortly. All right. See y'all.